OK, it's time for a Power Query challenge. Here's the information. I've got sessions. I've got days of week. And what I want to find is anybody who's double booked on any of the days on a particular session. All right. So they may have booked themselves into the Query Wizard session on a Tuesday. And I can see there George is also booked in on a Thursday. And he's booked in on a Monday. George really wants to do the Query Wizard session, but they're only allowed to attend once. So I want to point to this data, make it refreshable, spitting out a table that looks essentially like this. Okay, Alice has booked the Power Pivot session on a Monday and a Thursday. Okay, if we go down to George that we spotted, here's George. Okay, he's gone to the, the Query Wizards on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I missed that one, okay, when I was eyeballing it. So that's what we're after. This is the output. So there's a couple of techniques involved here. Download the file, give it a go yourself, and then come back and watch my solution. Let's go. Right, so my approach here is to go, I need to split these elements out I also have the same thing, which is day of the week in different columns. So to me, that is um, unpivot other columns. And this is going to be split to rows, okay, which lots of people aren't aware of. So control T to turn this into a table. Right click. Get data from table slash range. So first things first. I'm going to right click and unpivot the other columns. That's going to flip everything around into a nice day column. And I could rename it there, but let's just be fancy and rename it here. Okay, that's going to be the day. And this one is going to be called names. Beautiful. And then these ones, right click, split column by delimiter. And I really, really wish the next screen wasn't hidden under advanced options. Rows, there's no need for that to be advanced options. Please vote for this to be not under the advanced options. I'll put a link in the YouTube video, okay, under the description. Please vote. That rows, it should just be available. This shouldn't be a, an expandable box. It should just be showing, all right? There's no need for it to be hidden. Sorry, rant over. Okay, so we're gonna go okay. And there we have it, split to rows. Now there's some extra little spaces. So right click, transform, trim. That gets rid of uh, leading and trailing spaces, okay? Pretty good. Okay, so all I wanna do now is work out, I wanna basically group by name and by session to find out who's in multiple sessions. I can do a count and then I can filter on the count. So I'm gonna, names is already selected, hold control and click session. Right click, okay, group by. And I'm doing the count, which I need, because if somebody counts once for a, a name on a course, that's great, but more than one, I wanna be able to filter those and report them. But I also need to sort of capture what days they are. So we need to go add an aggregation. I'll call it, I tend to call it data, but it's basically all rows, okay? So we can see that Edward has signed up for M code madness twice. So I'm gonna filter this column to get rid of the ones because the ones are fine. I don't need to report those. So I'm just interested in these. And then from this table, if I click on it and look down the screen here, I can see there's a Monday and a Friday in the word in the column called day. So how do I grab just those elements? Well, there probably is a few ways of doing this, but I'm going to go to the add column tab, custom column. I'm simply going to refer to data which is the name of the column. Okay, here's the data column. And then square bracket day, which is the column within that sort of table, with column within the column, if you like. 
And by doing that, I actually get the list. And that list is just the list of days. Okay, if I click on it, you can see there that the, that's the list. And you can just expand this out and extract the values rather than expand to new rows. I don't want more rows, I want to join them together. And I'm going to join them with a comma. And then click OK. And there's my elements. And then names, whole control, session. Click on custom. Right click, remove other columns. I should have probably renamed that earlier, but let's name it days. Or double booked days. Double booked. All right. And we're pretty good. I'm just going to sort this ascending. And I may as well sort by session as well, sort ascending. And that is your solution. Okay, perfect. Alice, Power Pivots, Monday. Okay, George down here somewhere with all sorts of nonsense going on with the query wizards. It's applied for every single day. Okay, home, close and load, load two. Table. New worksheet, click OK. And it's fully refreshable, right? So if we go back to the source data and we change Alice, we'll get rid of her Power Pivots Thursday entry. All right, so there's Thursday, there's Power Pivots, there's Alice. Let's just get rid of Alice from that table. We go back to our solution. Here we go, right click, refresh, and Alice has gone from the issues. How did you get on? If you had an interesting way of um, solving it, then you know, let me know and maybe you could send me the file. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. I really wish, as I said, that split to rows was more obvious. Check out the links, check out the description. I've got a link for you to vote for Microsoft to actually improve that and make that more obvious. All right, catch you in the next video.